This video is sponsored by Hit Point Press and the Fable Makers Animated Tarot. This beautiful animated tarot deck will add some magical flair to your 5e games. Pre order at animatedtarot.com. And by our Cobalt Plush Kickstarter launching on April 12th. Help us unlock all six Cobalts with their swappable weapons, clothes, and accessories. To sign up, just visit cobaltplush.com. Hello, little goblins. Welcome to the Gallant Goblin. Today, we've got a really interesting video for you. This is Magic the Gathering Miniatures, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, Loth the Spider Queen. Many thanks to WizKids for sending her to us to review with you. Now, you may remember that Wizards of the Coast, which controls both Magic the Gathering and D&D, released a set of magic cards based on the Forgotten Realms lore last year. One of those cards was the legendary planeswalker, Loth, Spider Queen. Well, now WizKids is making some minis, presumably based on the art commissioned for or showcased on those new magic cards. If you're interested in the cards, go check out our unboxing of quite a lot of packs of them at the eye in the corner of your screen right now. That was a fun little video, but if you want to see more about Loth here, well, sit back, relax, and bask in her glory. According to the Elf chapter in Morden Canaan's Tome of Foes, Loth was one of many new elf gods given birth by the overall god of the elves, Corellin. She sought to get out from under the shadow of Corellin and urged elf kind to give up some of their individual freedom to attain elven superiority. Over time, Loth began to be viewed as the matriarch of the elves and a schism occurred. Loth ended up becoming a demon lord in the abyss and those elves who were most loyal to her became dragons. Now, one reason that this particular mini may fall under the Magic the Gathering brand is because we don't actually have an official 5e stat block for Loth as of this recording, and we know that WizKids generally waits until those stat blocks exist before making their minis. Now, Loth's presence is definitely felt in quite a few books, including Waterdeep Dungeon of the Mad Mage, where a CR11 statue of Loth appears as an enemy on level 10, Mural's Gauntlet, which features a fully renovated temple to Loth, so this mini could definitely be used for that. While she doesn't actually appear in any of the adventures yet, you may also be able to find a use for a Loth mini if you're playing Out of the Abyss, which primarily takes place in the Underdark and has a lot of drow content. And she also exists in the Critical Role Exandria universe as well as in Eberron. She's quite nicely painted and comes on a gargantuan size four inch base. The texturing on her body is pretty amazing. If you have players who are afraid of spiders, this mini might hit hard. She is broader than she is tall, coming in at about three inches high at her tallest point. Interestingly, the text on her base has a different font than usual as well. Now, Loth has an MSRP of 73.49, but I am seeing her online for as low as 40 bucks at some retailers. So as always, before fretting too much about prices, be sure you do some searching around because it seems like retail prices fluctuate quite a lot these days. And I know we probably all want an iconic Loth Mini in our collection. Her official release date is Q2 2022, but it's a little bit fuzzy on this one, so just check with your retailers of choice. Let me know what you think of her in the comment section down below. How do you plan to use her in your adventures? Let's discuss. Now, if you're looking for a beautiful new tool for your 5e knapsack, check out the Fable Makers Animated Tarot from our friends at Hit Point Press. Combine the new deck with the Fable Makers Tarot Guidebook to enhance your games in many unexpected ways. The guidebook will teach you all about using tarot in your everyday life, but also how to use these gorgeous cards to inspire your RPG. RPG creativity, from creating NPC backstories on the fly to enhancing your PC's motivations and history and more. The deck comes with 78 fully animated cards with eight frames of lenticular looping animation each, and the illustrated guidebook is 280 pages long to help you get the most out of your new deck, whether you're using for personal readings or to spark your creativity in your RPGs or both. Pre-order the tarot guidebook, deck, or box set today and get a free PDF of the Fable Maker's tarot tarot deck and guidebook with your order. Shape your story today at animatedtarot.com. And it is almost time to launch our Cobalt Plush Kickstarter. You've been seeing them for a year or so now here, and you can finally bring them home for yourself. Our Kickstarter will launch with the red Cobalt over here, and if we meet our stretch goals, we'll be able to produce all six Cobalts that you've seen on this table over the past couple of months. And if the Kickstarter really blows up, we'll be able to have some fun surprises for you as well. These little cuddly plushies feature swappable weapons and clothing and accessories. So if you want to make your own little adventuring party, you can do that just the way you want to, just like that. 
to sign up to be notified when we finally launch this Kickstarter. All you have to do is go visit cobaltplush.com. We're hoping to launch, or we will be launching on Tuesday, April 12th, and I really hope that I'll see you there. And thank you for joining me today. We'll have reviews of all the other Magic the Gathering D&D minis and all the other things that we got in our recent unboxings here very soon. You can go see those unboxings at the eye in the corner of your screen. Be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything. Come join our Discord server using the link below and you can get all the latest news from us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And don't forget to visit cobaltplush.com to get the best price available for these plushies. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. Thank you.